Welcome to part one of our MRS Developer Studio tutorial series. If you don't know how to write code but want to flash your MRS electronic module with a custom program, this video is for you. In this series, we'll show you how to complete your project graphically with MRS Developer Studio. Okay, to start out, we're going to click on Graphical Programming, and then we'll click Create New Project. When this window appears, we'll type in our ordering number, then select the correct model from the table on the right. We will then give this project a name in this field here. And you can also change the save location by clicking this button here. When we click OK, the project will be created in the background, and this might take a second. And to open the graphical interface, click Start Eagle. This notification just lets you know that when you want to compile, press F12. All right, so we'll click OK. All right, so here's the graphical interface. And on the left side here, we have some of the most important tools. And you can hover over each of them to get an idea of what they do. Click here to add a block. And here we have two libraries. One is CanGraph, the other is CanSpecific. We'll go with CanGraph for this example and select DIGN for digital input. And we'll just place two on the sheet here and here. Next, we'll add an AND2 function with two inputs. And for this example, we'll want a digital output, and we'll place that one right here. Now to connect them, we'll select the net tool and connect them together. All right, once they're connected together, we need to define our pins. So we'll switch back to Developer Studio. And here we have the Name IOs button, which will bring you to this window here. And we have the names for our inputs and outputs. This gives you an overview of all the input and output pins. So we want to copy this digital input. With this tool here, we can give this block a value. And we'll paste that value here. And we'll do the same for the second pin. OK, now we want to set the digital output. So we'll copy this digital output value and select our output and paste it here. Last thing we need to do is compile the whole project. And to do this, we can either press F12, like we saw earlier, or we can click the MRS logo here. I'll use the F12 shortcut. And this will bring us to this window here, which has our compiling information. And everything looks good, so we'll click Save and Exit. Okay, so we'll minimize this window, and then we'll see this yellow bar. That means it's compiling. And when it turns green, obviously that means it's complete. If there's an error, then you'll get a red bar, and it'll also give you an error code. But, uh, sin but since we did everything correctly, the bar is green, and we can flash this project onto the module, and it's good to go. All right, that's all for this one. Be sure to check out our other tutorial videos, and give this video a like if it helped you out. If you have any further questions, feel free to reach out to our customer service team. You can reach us at info at mrs-electronics.com. Thanks for watching.